what's going on. It's Joey from the Hitting Performance Lab. All right, Mr. Ian, let's take a look at your baseball hitting analysis here of your old swing and your new swing. So old swing over here, new swing here. There's about six weeks between these. And we'll take a look at, now I took one special note to talk about on your before swing is that we had a couple that had forward momentum and I did take one of those. Now we weren't consistent with our forward momentum when we first started. I know I've talked to your team before, so you, we'd had some prior instruction before this. But the unweighting the bat and forward momentum wasn't very consistent in our before swings here. Uh, definitely are in our afters, because that's what we've been really drilling, is that footwork side. So let's take a look here, and I have both your swings synced up. So let's get, now we got a little toe tap, which I don't mind, I like that. Toe tap, what are they, as long as you're getting forward momentum, that's all we're talking about. Now what you'll see that's a little different, and we haven't talked about this yet with you, maybe kind of glanced over it, but not really worked on it, is this shoulder angle which I saw, whereas we really don't have as, as big a one here as you do with that one. You have a lot more down shoulder angle here, which is getting into the catapult loading system and showing our numbers a little bit better in, this, in, in our after, which we've talked about in our fight position. Once we land, we want to make sure we're showing the pitcher our numbers. All right, so we get pretty good gas pedal. Those look about the same in these swings, but like I said, in your before swings, you weren't consistent with this. Sometimes you pick your foot up and put it down. Sometimes you get forward momentum and be aggressive. This is definitely a much more aggressive swing than just picking your foot up and putting it down. So, and then the, the second difference that I see is our brake pedal, our back foot. So as you'll see, we have this ball marker down here, and if I were to put a a spot here, Whoop. put a spot on this foot okay, and you're going to see that your before swing, your foot's not really going to move out of its spot, it's just going to anchor you down whereas here, you can see we go from foot down to foot catching our body here now I would like to see maybe just a little bit more I know we're kind of off on these markers. I probably should have taken the T base out of there so that we could clear up our video, video station here. But I'd like to see maybe that foot jump a little bit more to give you a little bit more stability because we want to see if that ankle, we can get that ankle and toe underneath our spine and head. We kind of want to get that about right there. All right, that's going to help anchor your body a little bit better, catch your body on your on your finish a little bit better but definitely different much much better in your after swing and you were pretty consistent with that in your afters all your after swings in this right side of the video right side video okay the, the other thing so that's that's talking about your footwork your footwork looks pretty good but like I said just maybe a little bit more movement with this back foot like I said try and get it to where the toe and ankle when you catch your body they line up right underneath like your butt your spine and your head so like right under here somewhere okay what I see is working on besides that I'm gonna make sure we're good on that is I want to talk about your hands what our what our hands are doing because here what we're doing is we're so far away with our hands from our body even more so than our before swing, we're going to talk about you have the elbow in the right place. Now we just got to get your hands to tuck in a little bit more, like you're throwing a punch. So we're going to have your hands probably more like in here, in this area in here. Okay, I'm going to push the ankle thing or the angle thing. I wanted this one. Actually, let's go this one. So let's see if I can draw a nice circle here. So I'm going to see if we can get your hands here, almost like in your armpit area. So we're going to move those hands a little bit in and, and tuck them. All right, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I wanted to cue up a little video of Saduhara O. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to take a pause. Let me take a pause real quick, and then I'll come back. All right, Ian, I'm back.
All right, so I queued up a video, I know it's a little black and whitish, of Saduhara O, and I wanted to take this baseball hitting analysis and compare you to O, because when I wa was watching the other day, you kind of had that similar look to you. But this is him hitting his 800th home run. You don't need to be able to read Japanese to see that. But he hit 868 in the Japanese professional leagues. And if he would have done what he did there, uh, these days he wouldn't be playing in the Japanese baseball leagues. But I have you guys' swing synced up. I know it's a different angle, but what I want you to do is take a look at O's swing, and then we'll kind of look at both ears together. But take a look at, you'll see him get into more of a, like a flamingo pose. But look what he's doing here with the shoulders, kind of like what you're doing. He's bringing them straight down. And by the way, this guy, Saduhara O, was 5'10", 175 pounds. Not a very big guy at all to do what he did. 868 home runs is 868 home runs over 20 years. That's, that's over 40 home runs a year. Unbelievable for such a small guy. So, so as you see, he really gets that down shoulder angle and has kind of like a, a with that leg, kind of like a flamingo, like I mentioned. And then he gets a fall forward. I know we don't have as many frames per second in the black and white video, but you can see he'll his hips are coming forward. See that? And then he goes into his swing. And he gets a good shoulder angle back or spine angle back. Like like what we're doing. But I wanted to show you this just to show, just to, to see what maybe you can model after, because you kind of are getting there already. And let me unlink and see if we can get a better view. Let's see here. Maybe another, where you can see with his hand action. This is a good one right here. All right, so let's get there. Okay. Okay, pitcher's getting ready to release the ball. He's already picked his foot up, by the way. And this has probably happened when the pitcher broke his hands because he's got a little bit of a leg kick and, he, and, a, and a big float. He's got a longer float. As you can see he's still floating. Hasn't really started coming forward. Let's see, until about right there. He's starting to come forward as the pitcher's releasing the ball. Falling for he's probably falling for a little sooner than that. But watch, watch his hands. See his hands right here. Watch where his hands move. Almost move behind him. They start out in front, and then they move in, almost like a boxer pulling a punch, getting ready to throw as hard of a punch, trying to punch a hole through the wall. See that? And then, bam. So this was number 756. So this was tying Hank Aaron, or, or beating Hank Aaron for the all-time home runs back back in the day when Barry, Barry Bonds wasn't even a glint in his dad's eye. Or maybe he was, which is back in the 60s. So I don't think Barry Bonds is around. But I just wanted you to see that because that's what we're going to be working on with your swing. Whoop. We're going to be working on where we where we stack those hands. And we definitely don't want them too far away because it's going to make for an inefficient turn. And most of the the swings that we took on this day were, were pretty inconsistent. Like we didn't have a consistent hard contact in here. We just had a few. But they'll come, so don't worry. But that's what we're going to be working on, brother. But much better on your on your footwork. I just want to see you jump a little bit more with that back foot. Give yourself a little bit more stability in your landing. But other than that, Ian, keep working hard, man. Good work.